Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is upload the logo. It's pretty simple to do, although it's not necessarily intuitive. So there's two different places that we need to go to within the GoDaddy dashboard to upload the elements that we need to properly identify our site. The first is uploading an image logo, and the other is to upload the favicon which is that little icon that shows up in your website browser next to the name of your website. It's kind of an identifier so that when you're looking across your browser, you can see an image and you go, oh, I recognize that. That's where I want to be. So let's go ahead and pop over there. It's really simple to do. Again, not intuitive. So I'm going to make sure that it's really clear on how to go about doing that. Okay, so here we are inside the GoDaddy dashboard and we're working on the massage therapy site. I am cur currently in preview mode, so I'm able to look and see what the site looks like at this point in time. And I want to change out this logo right here because this logo is currently set as text. So I'm gonna go back to edit site. And now I'm into the editable home page or for page that I'm working in and I can take my mouse and I can come over to massage therapy. It's highlighted. So I'm going to click on that and then it opens up the actual menu item where I'm able to edit and make changes to the site. So you can see here that their text is, is you know, showing up as a text logo um, massage therapy site. I'm going to go down below this and I'm going to click upload a logo and this brings me to my images. So what I want to do is before you start this, you want to make sure that you have access to your images. So you're not, you know, searching all over your computer for them. Um, put them in a file on your desktop or, or, you know, keep all of your website pictures and information in one place so that you have so that it's easy for you to access on your computer. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and click upload. That's going to bring me to the image file that I'm working in. And I'm going to choose this logo 357 by 108. That just happens to be the size of the logo that I made. I'm going to click open. That uploads it. Then I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to click on insert and I had the same problem yesterday I don't know what is going on as to why it's not inserting it's really weird so we're going to double click on it try that and click insert I don't want to download it I want to insert it so this is like oh okay so let me see if I can click insert now there we go so I had to scroll my my window up for some reason there was something that was blocking it so if that happens to you, just take your mouse and just roll up the screen. There's something that's keeping the, on your computer screen itself, that's blocking the insert button. I don't know why that happened. Anyway, so here we have it. So I've got my image, my logo is now uploaded and it's showing up in white because the background is white because that is the background for the, that we color that we set for the menu a little oversized. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here. And there we go. So I just move this little icon up or down in terms of to size it properly. So now I have this logo installed. I'm going to and or uploaded and installed. It looks good. I like it. And I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go ahead and click save. Then I'm going to preview it. There we go. So now I've changed my logo. So the next thing I want to do is I want to upload what's called the favicon. Now the favicon is the little icon that's right next to your URL. Here it's a lock, you can see it. But whenever you're looking on your, pay attention to, you know, when you're looking on your um, browser in Google, I mean in Chrome or Outlook or wherever it is that you're, whatever browser you happen to be using, you often see little images, little icons right next to the URL that you're on. And that's just a visual to help us help people find what they're looking for. And it kind of helps you stand out. It's your logo. It's a little icon part of your logo. This is what I'm going to upload. This, this is what I'm, I've chosen as the favicon. And we're going to go over to upload that now. And it's in a different place than 
you, so you're not going to manage that from your main editing menu. We need to go to settings from the menu. So remember, we have the website menu where we're editing. We have the theme menu where we're changing the colors and the font styles. And then we've got settings, which is kind of the engine that runs everything and makes everything consistent across all pages. So I'm going to the settings menu. I'm going to find favicon. I'm going to click on favicon. Then I'm going to upload it. They recommend it be 180 by 180. I've set mine at 32 by 32. Uh, let's see how that works. And I'll probably go in and change it to 100, at, make it 180 to by 180 later. Um, so now the favicon is installed. Now I'm not able to dis display that for you because the site is not live, but just know that it is now installed and that when you do take your site live, this little icon right here or whatever one you choose will show up on the publish site right here next to your uh, domain name. So that's pretty easy in terms of working with the logo and the favicon. Next video, we're going to be walking through actually working with images and we're going to, I'm going to walk you through how to change out the header images, all of, all of the images that you have on your site.